Yeah! Oh look, I still have the stuff. The uh, necklace and whatever the hell those other things are. Oh, that's the bandages that I took from fucking Maester. Hey dude! What are you doing? You gonna open that up? I'm coming in pretty hot, man! Hello? Castle Black. So this is the site of the night's watch. Recruits at the gate! Hello. Just gonna walk on in. Do I bring my horse? Yes, I do. Awesome. Hey, look, it's John Snoo. You a rival, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Don't you fucking touch my horse. I'm surprised no one was like, hey, come this way. Looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger. He's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Thanks, buddy. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. That is not John Snow. Grizzled's new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. No, he's an old... You seem nice. Nerd. That's not so good round here. Sparring crows. No time. Uh, barrels. What's in these barrels? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Not gonna fuck with that. Okay, let's go. That guy's shooting the crossbow from like one foot away. What the fuck is that? Back up, nerd. That's not gonna... You're not gonna... Okay. Obviously professionalism here. I didn't even you say come, anything. You train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? Well, you're jaded. Were you not once a recruit? I'm Gary Tuttle. You yeah, fucking Duncan nerd. Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Gary Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. Actually, I'd like to volunteer. Hmm. You just want to serve the realm, is that it? Sure. Yes, sir. You arrive on horseback, wearing a soldier's livery. You're a bad liar, Garrett Tuttle. T. <laughs> sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit. Then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You lied to me the first chance you got. Yep. You'll fit in well here. If you say so. I do. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Okay. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Great. 
last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... Slaver's Bay. I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> it's gonna be a fucking surprise. Shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Walk me past them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Do it. Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring us some salt. What's going on, dude? It. <laughs> How's it going, bro? You lazy fuck. fuck you, asshole. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> Had a run-in with Walder Frey, did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Oh. Should have buried him with the corpses. All right, Dick. Real shame about your leg, oh, Lord. Give us a toss. Don't let go of your sister Hello. now. No, because apparently you guys will fucking rape her, you fucking freaks. Fucking Bolton was pretty insistent. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you are gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? My men may be few, but they'll die before you keep me from my hall. Yeah, dick. Go on then, my lord. So you shouldn't put your fucking sword on your shoulder, moron. It's ridiculous. You're treating them like the guests. wine keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Hello. It's me. Roderick. Okay, Thank get careful. My everything is broken. Come join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. Fuck you. It's good. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. You call this walking? I can barely stand. Well, you're here at least. And a good thing, too. Indeed it is. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lords, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole them. I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead and Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Because we have no army. Shut up. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. 
Then find me one, Sir Royland. That's no simple command, my lord. Most of our men fled after Lord Ethan was killed, and our allies are either dead or too afraid of the Boltons to help us. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. So much shall we have. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now. He's barely recovered. Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. Get the fucking makeup out! We're talking about a marriage. Not an ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Keep them drunk. It's better than inciting them to violence. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's good to be back. Whoa! Hello. Blue fire of... last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. Come on. But thank you. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but... Maybe your sister can find a way to help. Maybe. Last time it didn't work out. At all. Really. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. Yeah, sure. And mm, something nice after that. Lady Marjorie intends to visit again very soon. Lovely. They'll be pleased to hear that. Yeah, it's personal. Like it should be. Let's fucking wax seal. that shit. Here you are. Boom. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. Hello. Is it the fucking cold boy? I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thanks for that. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What fucking brilliant ideas you got now. Just put what it away. What is it, Mira? Oh, a little letter from me. It's from my mother. 
She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? Pretty much. She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Of course. She knows you're very influential. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. Yep. That isn't the way I do things. Not really the way I would do it either. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. Sure. What does it actually say? Or does it actually just say that? Well, I guess it actually just says that. Are you gonna f If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... No. Don't forge a fucking letter, you nerd. I'm sorry, Roderick. He's Sir got it. Maynard. You are hereby invited. Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard. Oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... And all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. About? If you don't mind. What about? Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Yeah. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. Why am I so fucking antsy? 